probably my favorite fall Halloween craft to make so far. I'm gonna leave everything that you need to make this in the description below. You'll need fabric for the pumpkin body, you'll need some batting, and fabric for the little stem. And the pattern, I just drew mine out myself using a lid. Pumpkins come in all different shapes and sizes, so it can really be whatever you want it to look like. To cut from the pattern that we made, we're gonna lay our fabric right sides together and pin the pattern into the fabric. What I didn't do but should have done was pin around the edges. This would have made it a lot more secure when cutting. We're gonna repeat that with our batting. For the stem, honestly, I just eyeballed this too. Now, don't forget when you sew all this down, your pumpkin and stem are actually gonna be a little bit smaller than what it looks like right now. To cut the stem out, fold it right sides together, place the pattern on top, pin that down, and cut. Now, to sew our main body, lay them right sides together and place the batting on top, and then we're gonna sew all the way around, but leave an opening at the top. We need that opening to turn it right back out. Then we're gonna take our little stem, place that right side together, and sew, and also leave an opening at the bottom. When we're done sewing everything, we wanna cut off all the edges to reduce the bulk so that when we turn it right side out, it's not clunky and difficult to get through. You wanna work your way through the fabric, turning it all back out and making sure that you smooth out and point out all of those edges as best you can. And now with the opening of the body of our pumpkin, we're gonna turn in those edges and then give that a press. And then we're also gonna press our stem while we're over there. But going back to the pumpkin body, make sure that you have the edges in there really, really good. Because if not, when you go to sew it, they're gonna be poking out and you're gonna have a little bit of an opening and we don't want that. After it's all pressed, we're gonna stick our stem into the pumpkin body and you can maneuver this however you like, especially if your stem has some kind of design on it that you want peeking through. I'm using a water erasable marker to draw the lines for my pumpkin that I wanna sew. We wanna start off by sewing down that stem and then going all the way around and then continuing to sew along the lines, picking up our presser foot whenever we need to. Also, don't forget to backstitch in the beginning and the end. And voila! In the comments, let me know, are you a tea or a coffee person? Either way, your mugs officially have a cozy home to rest on.